Evernote plus to do list integration. Hello guys and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to see how you can integrate to do list and Evernote together and how you can sync both of these apps. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to show you two ways that you can do that. You can do it from to do list and you can do it from Evernote as well. So first of all, we are going to look at the one that is from the to do list. So here you can see that I have opened to do list.com for me. It is a very good app from which you can uh, you know manage all of your tasks you can uh, have it for your personal use for your business use it is going to give you the it is going to schedule everything for you you can assign dates to each task and it is going to give you the deadlines when the date is about to reach and etc so moving on to the integration thing integration uh, Evernote is also a note taking app and to do a management app so uh, when you are taking notes and you want to integrate them directly into your work management or task management platform then uh, your integrations come forward and they're going to be a big help to you so how you can integrate to do it with Evernote first of all after coming on to do it to do is you have to log in you can see this is my profile right here and then you are going to have a couple of options like this so here you can see that this is an option which in by which you can add a task this is the side menu in which you're going to have all of these things all of the tasks and all of the pages are going to be here and here you have your own a symbol of your profile click on your profile and here you're going to see an option which says integrations open that up and now here you can see that you have some in integrations that you have installed you can browse your integrations and then you have your developer as well so you can see in the settings you have account general advanced subscription sidebar productivity reminders so here you can see that uh, right now only the calendar integration is available for me now if I want to add an integration I can go on to the browse because I want to browse some integrations because uh, I don't have any right now. And now here you can see that you have options of integrating all of these apps. you have AI since assistant Alexa Epiway you have uh, you have Chrome, you have Drops, etc. So in here, we can easily find Evernote and then I we can integrate that onto our Todoist because it is going to be easy for you. So, okay, so uh, these are not all integrations that are available. There are a lot more integrations that are available and for that, we have to click on this option. Let's say I'm going to open this link in the new tab and I'm going to show you guys what this holds. But here you can see that you have a collection. Automate your tasks, save time and mental space by automating repetitive tasks and in there I'm uh, seeing this uh, symbol of Evernote so I can go on and search uh, Evernote in the integrations tab of to do is from the tab that I have just opened so I'm just gonna wait until it loads okay so here you can see that now these are all the integrations that are available so let me see that if I, I oh, okay, here you can see that this is the Evernote integration that is available I'm gonna click on that seamlessly create to do is tasks from Evernote and vice versa click on add and open to do is channel how to install the Evernote integration and click connect select the sync Evernote and to do is collect uh, connection select connect Evernote Follow the instructions on the screen to add the connection. And once you're done setting up the connection, select save. So I'm just going to visit the site that they're asking me to visit by clicking on this. I'm going to open it in a new tab. And then I, what I'm going to do is you have to select the sync every note and to do it. I'm going to go on to this tab that I've just opened. And now what I'm going to see is you have some options right here to do it integrations and sync every note add items uh, save likes and automatically add new tasks labels fiber to do lists and okay so there are a lot of options that are available so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this connect to do is to these services and more i'm going to click on every note because this is what i'm gonna do I, I want i'm going to click on start today and pop in okay so i'm going to continue with the google uh, for the signing up using this you can continue and okay welcome to IFTT. you have to help you get personalized recommendations pick at least one that you use regularly okay which one do i use regularly let's say i use instagram so on continue okay start your trial click on now now okay recommended applets i'm just gonna learn how to automate and okay get started okay now here what you're gonna do is i'm going to search for evernote again here it is 
and click on connect okay so click on authorize it wants to access my account okay i'm fine with it i'm gonna authorize it okay so evernote integrations evernote is across okay it is uh available now what you can do is you can click on download or you can click on create i already have an evernote account so that won't be uh, a problem for me so you can just go on click on create and now from here you can upgrade or move faster if this then that you can add uh, account from here Okay, so this is how you can integrate your Evernote from your Todoist. Now, going on to Evernote here, you can see that you can uh, integrate Todoist from Evernote as well, like uh, through the Evernote app. But it is a little bit, you know, a uh, non-confirmatory kind of thing because Evernote doesn't allow integrations in itself. Like, for example, when you open your uh, Evernote.com, here you can see that you have preferences, login and security devices, and then you have your connected apps. When you open your connected apps, manage your profile, change your emails, update personal settings, and close your account and more using the link below. So I have to go on to my profile. Opening my profile here, you can see that you have to verify your password. I'm going to click on connect with Google because that's how I'm using Evernote. So I'm just going to click on the ID that I'm using. Okay, so now here you can see that you have apps that you can connect uh, through Evernote as well. You have Google, you have Apple sign in, you have Google Drive, Wall Street Journal, and uh, you have Nikki. So you have personal settings, devices, points, upgrades, and connected services. So there are no other services that you can connect through Evernote. Uh, it can be anything. So here you can see that there is no option to add a to do is to Evernote through Evernote. So what you can do is you can copy something like you can copy the link address from Todoist of any uh, management task or anything that you want to integrate into Evernote. And while you are making notes on Evernote, wait a second, let me show you. Like, for example, this is an untitled note. I'm going to open that up. And when you are making the note, what you can do is while you're making the note, what you can do is you can integrate, uh, uh, you can integrate uh, HTML or you can integrate a link. For example, daily reflection, add more and click on add more and here you're going to find something a template where you can integrate different kind of links find and template uh, integrate the links from this option you can see that insert a link this is the option uh, add the link here for example i just uh, open the to do is copy it down go on to my evernote add the link here and here you're going to add the text like for example this is a to do is link so i'm just going to add as to do is click on apply and here you can see that the link has been added. Now, whenever I'm going to open that up, this uh, site will open up. So this is how you can integrate or you can add different things from Todoist into Evernote if you just want it from Evernote. But if you want to sync both apps, you have to do it from Todoist just the way that I've showed you. So this is a simple thing that you can do and it is very easy and it is going to make your workflow very easy for you. You can basically go, you don't have to switch from apps to apps when you are doing your work and you're doing your stuff. So it is going to make everything very more reasonable and very, very more practical for you so you can just go on and start doing that and integrate uh, each and everything sync together and you're good to go so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big big thumbs up and also subscribe to software is made easy thank you